Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Cool Nick 113 channel. Uh, welcome to a new game on the channel. Uh, my face is going to just quickly transition out of the way so you can see what game it is. We're playing Darksiders. Uh, we're actually playing the Watermastered Edition on the Xbox One. Because I play Xbox as my main console. But anyways, uh, same thing as the PlayStation version. We're playing Darksiders. These... Darksiders is an interesting game, to say the least. Uh, it is a hack and slash game, and it's. Let's just quickly double check these. Uh, it is really, really, really fun. Yes, I'm playing on normal. Okay. So hopefully this works this time. I tried recording earlier and none of the audio was picking up for some reason. Like the game wasn't playing any audio. There we go. So you can see all four there, War, Death, uh, Fury, and I forgot who the last one was. Alrighty, so there's a little story for you. And basically, this is just going to throw us right into the game. I know you can't see me right now, but this is going to throw us right into the game. So, actually it's funny, so... <clears throat> Originally, I, I originally played Darksiders 2 and Darksiders on the Xbox 360, and that's how I got into the games. Uh, Xbox had the games with gold, and I played Darksiders 2 first. And that was pretty cool. So I was just like, okay. Cool. And that's how I got into them. They're really fun. I'm really excited to play this. I've I've played the first Darksiders and the second Darksiders. I haven't played Darksiders 3 yet. I do own it, so we're going to see how fast we can get through these. Because these games are amazing. And it's funny, when I was thinking, after I beat Smash Bros, I was thinking, what game am I going to play? And I was like, oh, I'll play Darksiders, I get to play as Death again. And I was like, wait a second. You play as Death in Darksiders 2, not the first Darksiders. And it's crazy. I've actually gotten such... Like, I love these games so much. There we are. That's us. We are war. Honestly, this game looks amazing. Like, you guys are watching it in 1080p. I'm watching this in 4K. So, yeah. We're going to jump right in. Uh, so, here we go. One cool thing... 
that I love about these games is just how much of like hack and slash it is. It it really reminds me of like Legend of Zelda, but with more hack and slash. And like this game looks amazing. Cool. Like, it's funny, so, like, the more I played this game, I was always just like, okay, it's a weird game, because it's whatever, right? But at the same time, I was just like, wait a second. Like, after playing through it, I was just like, I love this game. It's so interesting. There we go. Poof. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do in this game like it's it's definitely more of like a okay let's go hack and slash stuff but at the same time there's a lot of things I can do in this game I don't remember how to do that there's an achievement for throwing um, a car at the helicopter, but I really don't remember how to do that, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. At least there was in the first one. Cool. Uh, so, as you can see, this game is fairly violent. And when I say fairly violent, I mean it's very violent. What is happening? And here's another thing. If you guys recognize, if you guys watch a lot of anime and stuff, you will recognize his voice. The guy who voices War, at least in the English, is the same guy who voices Gara in Naruto and Naruto Shippuden in the English dub. He also voices, uh, in For Honor, he voices the male warden. <clears throat> and yeah, pretty big voice actor. I forgot what his name is, but like, he's actually like really cool. Okay. That's an execution kill. Cool. Alright. So this is kind of a tutor tutor uh, tutorial. And it really just throws you into the game. So it doesn't tell you how, what you have to do, what your attacks are or anything. You just kind of got to figure out that like, X is your main attack, Y is your secondary. A is jump, right bumper is your dodge. Uh, yeah.
But as you go in the game, cool. Yeah, as you go along in the game, you do unlock new things. Uh, you unlock weapons, and I don't remember if you actually unlock many weapons in this one. I know in Dark Souls 2 was a little bit different because you actually got to like change what your weapons were and stuff. I think in this one you literally only get like four different weapons, three, three, three or four. I really don't remember. It's been a while since I've played. But actually, the last Darksiders game I played was the first Darksiders. So, there's that. And definitely Dark... I do... I do definitely prefer Darksiders 2. Out of the ones I've played, Darksiders 2 was definitely more my favorite one. There was a lot more exploring and stuff, and I definitely had to use a few guides to find all the collectibles. But that's that's gaming for you. I wasn't going to spend six and a half hours just looking for a book. A page of a book or whatever it was. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. We'll get to Darksiders 2 in the future, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, here we go. Yeah, as you can see, there there's stuff happening. The game is fairly linear, uh, especially this one. Come on. I just love doing combos and stuff. Like, I know it doesn't look like I'm doing combos, but I am actually. And I know it's weird. You see my, my controller here. I, whenever I play games with consoles, I always have the controller like right up to my face. And like, I've had friends who are just like, why do you do that? Like, especially when I'm playing like games with people and I have my mic on with my headset. And all of a sudden it's just like, oh, you hear the clicking and the joystick. And it's just like, oh well. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be a boss fight. And, yeah. One thing you guys will notice is... Oh, yeah, that is a boss fight against an angel. My face will be disappearing during these cutscenes, if you guys are wondering where I went. But I'm going to keep my vocal audio so you can still hear what I'm saying. Unless I decide to, like, cough out my lungs. Like, honestly, the the angels are really cool. Because they're just, like, mechanized, right? Right. Again, I don't know if I said this already, but this game is very violent. As you can see, people, angels are getting eaten. And here I come, just walking. She's a big character. How did this happen? So that... She will appear in this game a lot, and same with the second one. Um, I don't know about the third one yet.
What in heaven's name have you done? I answer the call. Sweet. So here we go, jumping into a boss fight. And I'm actually super excited for this. So this boss fight is going to be really cool. Um, I don't remember how I have to beat him. All right, okay, so I have to throw cars at him. So he's going to grab cars and he's going to throw a bunch at me. Like that. And then he's going to break them. Because he's a jerk. I have no cars. I need to change something quickly. This is bothering me. Uh, where is it? Is that it? I can't actually hold it. Okay, never mind. I was gonna change it so it's just like, it's just toggle. I definitely like toggle toggle locking better. This guy's like shifting the whole street. Come on, throw some cars at me. There we go. Boom. How do you like taxi services? So when you're doing this, it's easy to lock on and just like do the slide, sli use your right bumper to slide left and right. And then you can easily just grab that with B, throw with right trigger. There we go. Now he's going to bring his face down here, which means I can now start cutting him. I don't have a lot of health, which is the issue. I'm not going to say this is an indie game, because it's not. It's done by THQ. Right. So it's definitely not an indie game. But this is, I don't know. I feel like Darksiders isn't exactly a well-known game. There we go. Grab onto this guy's face, blind him. Very violent. Oh, something happened to me. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to swing through the cutscene. No, it's the loaded screen. Oh, it's a cutscene.
So yeah, this is going to be a fairly long episode. Now that I looked at the recording time, I was like, wait a second, I'm recording this game. I'm not playing this for my own pleasure. Yeah. I think we're going to wait for this cutscene to finish. More cutscenes. Oh, and this this is uh, Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill. Which is weird to think, like that he voices that guy. Okay, just get the cutscene over with. You guys talk for so long. Alrighty. So we're going to end that episode there. We're going to continue off with this in the next episode. This is a very long episode. So welcome to Darksiders War Mastered Edition. War Mastered Edition. We're going to go through a lot of this. And hopefully this will be a quick playthrough. There's a lot to do in this game. So yeah. All the achievement hunt I'm going to do later on. I don't care about that right now. But all of the gameplay until I beat the final boss will be done for you guys. So be sure to stay tuned for more of... Darksiders. And if you guys want to be notified when the next video goes up, make sure you guys hit that notification bell and the subscribe button. And while you guys are clicking on stuff, make sure you guys click on the links down in the description to follow me on social media and on Twitch. Things are getting back into gear. Uh, there's a lot of st stuff happening. I'm still kind of off with the Twitch streaming, but that will be coming back fairly soon. So be sure to stay tuned for those. And if you guys want to be notified when I do go and do some Twitch streaming, uh, it's usually Tuesday nights, but my Facebook and my Twitter will, you know, and my Instagram, actually. My Twitter and my Instagram, definitely, I think my Facebook does, but Twitter and Instagram will let you know. So be sure to stay tuned for those. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode and for watching the first episode of the Darksiders playthrough. And I, see you next time. Bye-bye.